Wednesday. Oh, oh, oh. This, this is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Finish Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Welcome to the Friday podcast, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. How's it going? We've got our feet up because the weekend is here. So have a good one. And no, we'll no, 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 no. We've got a lot to discuss. Uh, the far too personal trainer. You're not going to believe it. Got a message yesterday. I'm going to drop a name. Russell Crowe. Oh, what? That's he wants, two names, a well, first name and a name. I'm going to drop a full name. Oh, Russell Crowe. Don't know his middle name. So what's he got to do He with wants to get involved in the far too personal trainer. That's not what I've heard. <laughs> Me not. Are you not entertained? Well, you are if you read this book. You're entertaining. You says your wife. He, if you know what I mean. Or your partner. Or, so, or your partner. I doubt Russell would get you know involved with, with a project like this. He's busy. Matt DeGroote's wife, Bronte, who's read a part of the book, mm. she said, this is a great gift for guys to buy their girlfriends for Christmas. This is a perfect stocking filler. Russell Crowe would agree. Stocking if filler. If we asked him. Fartopersonaltrainer.com. I, I'm surprised that there's any left. A couple. One, two. <laughs> Limited, limited run yeah. of 500 oh, books. Makes them rare. Collector's items. Okay. S- numbered and signed. Okay. Russell Crowe's in. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. You know the old saying that uh, never meet your heroes because oh, they could yeah. let you down? Have I let you down? Yeah, plenty of times. Oh, no. For, on day one. Huh? And, the show's uh, been going for 12 years. And that, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> so ever since then, you have not been my Robert De Niro. Oh, but no. I, I, um, an amazing story's come out with Cliff Richards. Now, Cliff Richards in his 80s now. You know, they remember Cliff? I've He's, got an auntie obsessed with this man. Yeah, yeah mum, mum likes a bit of Cliff Richards. He was like the heartthrob, wasn't he, back yes, in their day? He was. Oh, Cliff. Well, you've got another song in the system there, Jess. What else have you got? It's so It is so funny that he doesn't talk anymore because he was talking about someone brought up with him. This was on the um, the TV show This Morning Britain over there. Fergie's been jumping in as well and doing a few interviews on the show. Okay. And they had Cliff Richard on there and they asked him about Elvis. And he said, ah, funny you should be. He was one of my heroes, but I didn't get to meet Elvis. I had a chance, but didn't get to meet him. But it's a little bit different than just your stories where, you know, Elvis may have P.I.S.ed mm. him off. Yeah. No, this was a reason why he didn't meet Elvis. He said it on the show. Have a listen to this. Beautiful. I love it. Did like you that. ever meet Elvis? Oh, no, I did not. I had one chance through a, a, a journalist when I was promoting Devil Woman in the States. Yeah. He said, oh, I, I know Elvis because he knew that I was influenced. And I, he said, would you want to meet him? I said, yeah. At the end of the interview, though, I said, can we put it off? Because he was he put on a lot of weight. Oh, right. And I thought, if I'm having a photograph taken with him and it's going to be hanging on my refrigerator, it, he's got to look good. And I put it off, and of course, then he died. Oh. <laughs> She'd never so, put it off just because should, they're a little bit heavier. No. If anybody has got, if you're a fan of somebody's, you should, if you get the chance to meet them, meet them. Even if they've put on weight. Oh. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't get the photo with Elvis because Elvis had put on a few kgs. Oh. He said, I'll wait till he loses the weight. He dies and never gets the he's, evidence that he met Elvis. He's never lost weight quicker than when he died. <laughs> Did you get the photo then? He lost seven kilos a week. It was extraordinary. <laughs> That is so funny. And then tries to say that there's a serious message in it. Don't put off the photo if they're a bit of a fatty. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. My, but, yeah, even if they've put on a bit of weight, they're your hero. Yeah. Go and meet them anyway. Don't Do yourself th- a favour. Don't be thrown by the fact they're a bit of a fatty. It's like he's. It's like a, a life decision that he's made that he's, has stuck with him forever. He's not a bodybuilder. I had a chance to get a photo with him. I thought he was carrying a few kgs. I said no, and then he died. I missed Mate, out. if he was in the health food industry or he was a supermodel, by all means. But no, he's a singer. You don't love him for his waistline. 
<laughs> you love him for his songs. What if you could book your hotel now and choose to pay when you get there? With thousands of flexible booking options in select stays, you're only a what if away from your next holiday. Book on the What If app. What if it's Aussie for travel? There has been so much excitement around it, Fitz. I noticed your name coming through last night on the order list for the far too personal trainer. What was my no? I didn't order oh, one. Sorry, it was under Belinda. Ah, oh, damn. So BJ has ordered one. The far too personal trainer dot com. Black Friday sale. The code word you need for thirty percent off today is gold. It's just Kate Ritchie was upset that I just went with Logie yesterday. Yeah. So she said if you, you could have gone with gold, Logie, I said I'll sort it out tomorrow. So G O L D, very simple, thirty percent off. You wouldn't have many left out of the five hundred, would you? Not many, if any. You know what's exciting too? The the groundswell of big names wanting to be involved in the book. I mean, we just released the audio book. I mean, we haven't released it. We decided Indy would be the voice. He does a great job, so that will be out very soon. But now we go to the next step, Fitz. What does it look like on the screen? Is that what your mind was wondering? No. Cool. Uh, Kate Ritchie, I mean, she would be a natural fit, maybe, for one of the women in the book. Oh, you're going to turn it into a movie. Well, that's a lot of talk around that. Okay. Margot Robbie has also applied. Um, she submitted her application. Um, and I've said, Margot, just focus on the gin for a moment. Go back to Mimi's, right, and shout the bar again. Then I get a message yesterday from Russell Crowe. Are you not entertained? Well, you are now that you've read The Far Too Personal Trainer. Well, actually, I messaged Russell, so I got a message, okay, but I had to right. message him first yeah, to right. get that message. <laughs> oh, gotcha. So and he loves that. He loves it. He loves it when you when they bother him all the time. He was all over it. I mean, I was surprised he didn't jump in first. But anyway, the conversation had started. Doesn't matter who pulled the trigger on the chat. <sighs> Emotional. I'm just not sure he gets it, unfortunately. He wrote, uh, on the surface of it, not quite sure I'm into the idea. <laughs> Hope you're otherwise happy and busy. Then the message goes on. Now, why would you be writing an erotic novel? Have you spelt that right? Did you mean hectic, mystic, exotic, or poetic? <laughs> and I wrote back, no, no, no. It's definitely erotic. And he went... Well, he didn't, he didn't write he back. He didn't reply. Um, that's okay. Look, okay, so, so he's stage, still a chance. He's still a chance. It's right. not a firm no from Russell Crowe. Gotcha. But I think if we're going down the list, Tommy, I reckon we'll just write a maybe by Russell. Okay, maybe. TBC. Being, I mean, he might just want to do a casual reading. Yep. He doesn't have to commit to the movie I think right he said, now. I think he said no to that, didn't he? Well, well, sort of in a roundabout way with yeah. the not interested. I, you, oh. you know what? You, and you know we only get a couple of favours a year from Russell. I think you've blown both of them well, for 2024. I mean, yeah, we've, I mean, we've nudged that. I mean, you never know what today will bring, being Black Friday and everything. He might, might message... Um, I'm luck. not begging for Russell to message, but Russell, if you're listening or if anybody knows Russell, just give me a little nudge, a yep. little uh, wink, wink. Have your phone next year, mate. He might be calling Any you time back today. Now. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. Can we get Ollie in here, Tom? Ollie? Hey, Ollie, come in here. Yeah, come in, Are you Ol. telling me that Ollie won an award on the dance floor? No, he didn't. <laughs> I mean, he was on fire. There, there were awards given out last night. There was the Anna Winter Award for the best dressed around the office. Okay. That Peter Colosimo won that one. Um, Leno, who used to work on the show as well, he got the MVP Did he? around the office. Congratulations to Leno. I couldn't see him there for a while, though, Ol, could I? Well, he's no, tiny, he's isn't very he? Funny. How are you holding up, brother? I'm good. Yeah, you okay? Um, yeah. So, were you, were you a standout on the dance floor last night, Ol? Were you going okay? Uh, it was good at, towards the end, yeah. yeah. I mean, there was the dance floor was going off towards mm. the end. What, what, the, what there it, was the lady with the saxophone. Well, yeah, mm. okay. Was that the entertainment? Was that? There was a saxophone, yeah, saxophone there. Saxophone. Guy with the bongos, bongos as well, yes. Yeah. The guy from Sales on the bongos. <laughs> <laughs> or was it like hired musicians? No, it was hired musicians. You People were, dressed up as reindeer. You were respectful, Ollie. Yeah, you, yeah. you got along with everyone quite well. Yeah. The, yeah, good yeah. News, no. the good news for Ollie, guys, is that he's <laughs> off to the Spilt Milk Festival in Canberra yeah. this weekend. Are you really? To see Post Malone. Yeah. Oh, you <laughs> oh my kids. God. So what, nine o'clock this show finishes, you're in the car off to Canberra. Yeah, I've got my, I was supposed to have packed my bag when I got home last night. <laughs> oh, get <laughs> over. Oh, I love you, Ollie. Uh, and how'd you go, go with the ladies, Ollie? Any luck? Uh, just, no, just talking to people from sales, you know. <laughs> Is there anybody, Ollie, that you can think of that would be uh, 
pretty shy this morning on not turning up. Like, who was the one well, that you don't want to be? I'm, I'll be surprised if Lano comes into into the office today because he was the one that was like, keep getting me to the drinks. <laughs> oh, all right. Ollie, go, we back might leave Ollie there. go back to bed. Go back to bed, Well done, Ollie. You're the best. He's the only one on the phones this morning yeah, as well, only, so. He's the only one in the building. And if you want to make the hangover worse, call him all morning, guys. Oh, mate, he's, 2014. We love Ollie. Love him. He's got oh. Nev on the line, though, Mount Coley. You're lucky to get on air if Ollie's taking you, cool, Nev. I am indeed, mate. I am indeed. Good morning to you, guys. Nev, you haven't had your Christmas party yet, have you, buddy? No, I haven't. I'll be having that in another week or two, so uh, that's going to be a little bit of a, uh, Look a out. one for me. Look Appa- out. Apparently you've got a bit of a hack for us, Nev. I do, I do. People, I've been doing this hack now for years and years. With these Taylor Swift tickets, everybody's trying to log on and get them and people are saying they're caught in the waiting room, they can't get up. What you have to do, log on to the New Zealand website, yeah. okay? You avoid the whole bottleneck of the Australian website and you can get your tickets. I've bought tickets for friends. I've got tickets to Robbie Williams, Paul McCartney, all the big shows that have been here over the last while. Yeah, but see, okay, so, Five, six years. so Nev, you go to the New Zealand Ticket Tech, or is it Ticketmaster, yep. or whoever, whatever it is. Well, whichever one it is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ticket Tech. And then, and then and you then just log on, you use can... your login, and click. Yeah, but see, what what you click on the, the Sydney show from the New Zealand website. Exactly. Wow. And you can access them. So there's allocated tickets for people buying yep. from overseas. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter where you're purchasing it from. Jeez. So I go for the Formula One all the time down in Melbourne. Um, yeah, it's just, I've got Paul McCartney tickets, Robbie Williams. That is amazing. Okay. That's okay, really he's, he's interesting. Dropped, he's dropped out. I love that. Uh, actually, people should try it because it's the resale today, Jess. We're back on again yeah, for ticket, more Taylor Swift. Yeah, it's 10 a.m. this morning. Ticket Tech Marketplace is where you can get it. Oh, Ticket Tech Marketplace. I wonder if you can go to New Zealand Ticket Tech Marketplace. There you go. We were just talking before about the big Sydney derby tomorrow night. Sydney FC versus Western Sydney Wanderers. And this man will be playing. He's given us a call this morning. Very excited about this. Soccer Roos goalie as well. Andrew Redmayne, how are you, buddy? Well, thanks, how are you? Oh, mate, the big derby's on this Saturday night. Sydney FC taking on the Wanderers. Yeah, can't wait, mate. Oh. Give me a cracker. Are you still copping the grey wiggle after your dance mm. um, at the penalties, Andrew? Does anyone still call yeah. you that? Yeah, a few opposition fans just sing wiggle songs behind me. So. <laughs> that's very funny. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's a, a, a taunt or a, you know, kind of a credit. When someone's coming in for a penalty, Andrew, do you like to stare yep. them down? Do you say a few words to them? Like, what, like, like what's the routine before they actually take the kick? Just make them wait as long as they can. Yeah, um, okay. Yes. Throw make them. The more, so nervous, make... the more they think about it, the more nervous they get. Headspace. I love yeah. that stuff. I love hearing that stuff. Because you can't help either when you're watching Andrew but think, oh, I would have stopped that, or I wonder how I'd go as a goalie. Do you have any idea the sort of average or what the pace of the ball is when it's coming at you? Do you would you know that? Oh, oh if, if it's kind of like a dead ball and they're... They're giving it an absolute lashing, then maybe 100k, 120k. Jeez. So if you blink at the wrong time, <laughs> you're gone. <laughs> you're gone. <laughs> God, see you later. Okay, if you are a Sydney FC fan or a Wanderers fan, you need to get there, Allianz Stadium, tomorrow night. Um, you can get your tickets at ticketech.com, but this is a huge game and it is a brilliant night out to take the kids. It's entertaining. But, Andrew, obviously, you've given us a call this morning, so we want Sydney FC to get up. So good luck. Tomorrow night, big man. Jeez, thanks for having me on. No thanks, worries. Buddy. Thanks, legend. See you, bye. mate. Well Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. Good on you, buddy. Have a good one. Um, and also, Nev, well, you've got yep. through. I'm going to give you the $250 appliances online voucher. All yours, brother. Oh, dead set, legend. Thank you, boys. Thank you, boys. <laughs> Have a good sale since the Black Friday. And I tell Sweet you man. what, if Nev, if that's true today, if you can get onto the New Zealand website for Taylor Swift wow. tickets. What a great hack. That is great. Appliances online, Black Friday deals are now on. Shop incredible offers across a huge range of big brands. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. 
calm down, which is a key message for Kate Ritchie this morning because she's angry about annoying kids TV shows. I'm actually not let, annoying. Let it go. Let it go. Uh, now, first of all, how good are kids shows? Because you know what? When your kids are, oh. are, are giving you the you yicks. Were, you were having a crack at Peppa Pig. and My three and a half year old has just got on to Peppa Pig. Yeah, okay. And it's an amazing distraction. And there's also, isn't there a naughty version of Peppa Pig or a, or one that's been revoiced? Yeah, YouTube's got some funny oh, versions of Peppa Pig. Yeah. My daughter, all of a sudden, she loved Peppa Pig as a, as a very small child, and then all of a stu- sudden started loving it again. But then I was realising she wasn't really watching the legitimate pe- Peppa Pig. It was yeah, like was someone, I'm guessing, who had made it into a bit of a funny version. <laughs> um Oh, my mic's not working. Sorry. Um, I I only want to talk about TV shows because thank goodness for for Bluey, okay? Earlier in the week, I think they released... I don't know how many episodes the show has now, but there's one... They've done their top 100 episodes. That's crazy. I think at number one, and it may be because Cricket's floating around in the air at the moment, is that the the episode titled Cricket um, was the number one episode. I love it. I love Bluey. I love Bingo. I've bought all the merch. I mean, if you're doing your Christmas shopping at the moment and you're in Big W, mm. you can pretty much buy anything bluey. Yeah, it's massive. From pajamas and books and colouring and, like, there's just everything. I, uh, Tommy, I think you said they're even doing a, an almost movie-length version of bluey, which would be unreal. Yeah, that's right. They announced, uh, I think it was a couple of days ago, a very extended version of bluey, which is great. Can right. I tell you, Kate Ritchie, mm. um, just to drop a name, I played golf with Joe Brum. He's the creator of bluey not long ago. I said, tell me about when you came up with the idea for Bluey. He said, well, I was working in animation and stuff like that. And he said, this was a side project and I was working so late after my normal job to try and put Bluey together. He said, I had one night where I sat there and I went, do you know what? What is this stupid idea? Why am I wasting my time on this stupid idea, this character Bluey that I'm trying to create? Oh, wow. Cut to five years later, Blue is the biggest Gosh. thing in the world. Yeah, and in, he still in, nearly he, gave up on he's it. He's still got his job? Jeez, he yeah, he got his job. <laughs> still, he's still, they're still running the two jobs. I actually remember having lunch with um, the, my publishers at Penguin because oh, yeah, obviously, you know, I, I'm an author. Uh, we're both authors. Um, authors yeah. And I remember we were meeting about something else and they this was just when they had signed Bluey. Mm. It was going from animation into the books, like the, you know, the real books that you could hold in your hand yeah. and it was a it was a secret and do you think it's going to work and do have you, you heard of Bluey? Work? I mean, not that I'm advising Penguin, yeah. but I am a mum, so I had a few ideas. Anyway, 13, 20, 4, 10, please give us a call with the TV show that you have to sit through with your children and you never, ever want to see it again. Katrina in Sutherland, what's your no- annoying kids TV show? Good morning, lovely people. I listen to you faithfully every morning. Love Aww, you, Katrina. Thank you, Katrina. We're not annoying, are we, Katrina? <laughs> no. Not at all. I okay. love you guys. I feel like I'm part of the team. No. I listen to you every morning on the way to work. You're part of the family, Love Katrina. that. You yeah. are. What are you hating on the telly? So, um, I'm pretty sure you guys have come across this most ridiculous kids show called In the Night Garden. Oh, yeah. Aww. I loved In the Night Garden. I could not understand it. It used to raise my blood pressure. Yeah. You got- I would hear the gobbledygook yep. and all the I'd look at Eagle my kids Eagle. and it was like there was a magic spell. Yes. And it would have that thing that flew through the garden in the night garden. It sounded like it was farting at the same time as it flew. Absolutely. <laughs> and I would look at my kids going, what is happening here? Yeah, that's, <laughs> and there's Macapaka on his bicycle collecting Upsy rocks. Daisy. Yes. Upsy Daisy. Oh, that's similar. Upsy Daisy. Isn't it similar to the Teletubbies that are in a the garden bit. as well? Yeah, 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 they all kind of, there's, there's not really a language. It's a child. Wow. Yeah, they kind of just make, they make, they make noises. <laughs> Lynn in Menai, most annoying kids TV show. Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, don't oh, like hang Thomas. On a What's wrong with Thomas? He's boring. On the Isle of Sordor <laughs> is the fat controller. Yeah, we didn't really yeah. get into Thomas. And I just say though, with the Teletubbies, we're going to the farm on um, this afternoon, and every time we go past Gunning, where the um, but they're called. Yeah. We, we put the Teletubbies song on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Kids do love it. They're so cute, the Teletubbies, they are. aren't they? And I guess it, it's still... I mean, there's a lot of research that goes into these shows. We just think someone said, you put yellow on, you put purple on, and you do that, yeah. and you've come up with an idea. Like, people... You know, you can't put something on the telly if it's not going to be good for kids. Thank God for shows like... Mm-hmm. Have you ever watched The Investigators? That yeah. is one of my favourites. Yep. Yeah, I do love it. On Monday... 
Something terrible happened. Ezra, Woody, something terrible has happened. What? Has the school run out of pink glitter again? Yeah. Oh. They're well, so they're funny. Right the pink glitter was. Well, terrible. They, you know what? They've actually they're so good that those terrible. kids. I think they've put them on the um the gangland wards that's ha- happening here in Sydney at the moment. Now <laughs> they're covering really. The, yeah. the investigators. Now I want to be on the investigators, playing a school teacher or something. Can I just quickly mm-hmm. tell you my least favourite TV here show? I don't know if we're taking more calls, but um is uh this this one? You'll know it instantly. Okay. Okay. This is all wrong. Yeah. Oh. I want to do the cleaning. Brett, just relax, would you? Okay, I'm talking about oh, this. Alvin. Is this Alvin? Alvin? And, is and the dog. He's putting me to sleep. I, I need yep. something fantastic. Oh, please don't make They've it. They've brought out a lot of albums right? too, Kate. And they made a lot of money. And they do Christmas as well. <laughs> oh, 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 seriously, oh, mate, you've watched this ten times. You hate Alvin. Oh. Okay. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. What do you call a person who constantly asks for your advice yet always does the opposite of what you told them? Oh, I love these ones. It's like a guy in a bush. Russell. No. No. Asshole. Sorry, mate. <laughs> okay. A person who constantly asks for your advice yet always does the opposite of what you told them. An asshole. Well, that's, I mean, growing up. <laughs> I really up, like that. Growing up, that was kind of like how it worked with your mum and dad when they'd yeah. go, hey, do your homework. I know. Well, if you're going to tell me, I won't. Don't right. tell me, no, I still won't. It's a tough one. So you moment. won't win. Ask I'm, Cole. I'm going through teenage chats at the moment. What sort of conversations well, are you, you know, having? It's, it's a tough one because, uh, you know, obviously you have to think back to when you were that age mm. and, and the stuff that you used to get up to as well. But it's just, you know what, don't worry about it. And a big one at the moment is, don't worry about it. People will forget about it tomorrow. They, they think it's the end of the world. Something's happened at school yeah. and everyone's going to be talking about it, but it won't. Do you get and honesty? I said, and I said, I've had to say to both of my sons, I've worked in radio for 19 years. Mm. Let me tell you, if you give it more oxygen, it'll stick around. If yeah. you forget about it, everyone forgets about it. I can't even remember what we did last break. What mm. did we do? We were talking about Russell Crowe's or the Fudge Personal oh, Trainer. Oh, it's the book. Yeah, that's that right. Yeah, I had no idea. Not I easy would to. have had any idea. You don't give it oxygen and no huh? one will buy books. What are you talking about? <laughs> Code word is gold. You know, we have an honesty issue in our house last night. Tom's going to roll his eyes when I say this story. Someone's someone's had an accident in the shower, Fitz. Someone's confused the, the shower for the toilet. Oh, um, Lisa needs to get that checked out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to sit the three kids down last night and go, all right, who did a poo in the shower? Yeah. Okay, did someone have an accident? Look me in the eyes. No one's in trouble. Just tell me. Yeah. Then I didn't get an answer, so then I had to take them, take them separately. Okay. Did you have an accident in the shower? Wasn't me, Dad. Did you have an accident they're, in the shower? They're not going to admit wasn't it. Wasn't me, Dad. Three. I got three. Wasn't me, Dad. What is your is your son Dickie Knee? Hmm? Wasn't me, Dad. <laughs> Mr. Summers. Mr. Summers. <laughs> We're not doing Hey Hey It's Saturday gear. Hey, it wasn't me, Dad. We're not doing Hey Hey, hey It's Saturday gear. <laughs> <laughs> We're not. Who's going to do not... the Wilbur Wild stuff, oh guys? Oh, my God. It? Wilbur on the saxophone. Um, are you going to do oh, a Molly, Red, M- Molly Red, Meldrum? Do yourself a favour. zero again. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. Boy Richie's arrived. Oh, it's very Susan Boyle, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I know. This I was is, meant to have that life. This is part of... Um, <laughs> Not part hers. Sorry, you no, go. No, no, tell us more about your thoughts on Susan Boyle. <laughs> <laughs> I realise be... I've kind of... I've, um, what's what is happened? It finished? What is, uh, what you've made, switched what off? What happens when you've finished for the day? You, you die. Clocked yeah. off. Oh, you've clocked no, off. <laughs> for you, it's called 8.45. Oh, no. Oh, 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 Fitzy, don't <laughs> get me started. Uh, <laughs> Oh I don't know what that You're means. You're not Mr. Hanky, mate. I don't, I've never watched it. Here we go, guys. First riddle. I'm inside, halfway up a building that has no windows or balconies, yet I've got an incredible view of the city around me. What sort of building am I in? Who? Huh? What? Can okay. you please, one more time? Thank you for the what? opportunity to share. <sighs> I'm inside, halfway up a building that has no windows or balconies, yet I've got an incredible view of the city around me. What sort of building am I in? Are you, you a clock tower? Yeah. No. Yeah. A, a clock tower? No. 
Are you inside the sphere in Vegas? Beautiful technology. No, I don't know. Wonderful. See the city from Fire exit? No. No. Who wrote this one? Uh. See the city around me. <laughs> it's a good one. Yes, uh, no, is, it, is, this one is this an original? It could be. Is this an original? Out of the factory, oh, no. an original. OG. Very careful. OG. I'm inside. Um, Halfway up a building that has no windows or balconies, yet I have an incredible view of the city around me. What sort of building am I in? Are you a bridge? No, I'm not. The Sydney uh, Eye? What the Sydney Eye. Not the That's Sydney good. Eye. Because that, that has windows. What's a Sydney uh, Eye? The the centre eye. point. Now. It's, centre point. it's not an eye. Do it's, you know why I've met someone... It's called the Sydney someone, Eye. No, they call it the, no, they call it the needle. No, they don't. Or something. It's never been called the needle. Well, someone I knew for a while called it the needle. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's why we let them go. I need to get off. Are we anywhere now. near it, mate? Are we sort of circling the drain, or are we? You were okay. You were nudging around at K. Richie when you Clock. said bridge. Is it mm, the Opera House? No, that sucks. Is it the Harbour Bridge? The oh, Anzac? you know what it could be. What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Just to wind things up. Um, a car park. Yes, it is. Multi-story oh, car park. Just a Genius, Kate Ritchie. Are you t- that is. Who you is, can uh, look out from a car park. It has. I didn't say you couldn't. I said it has no windows or balconies. Now, the problem with the riddles are... No, no, you're running out of... It <laughs> makes an ass really, out of you. This is really tough. That was a good one. All right, here we go, guys. Riddle number two. What do you put on the table, cut and then pass around, but would never eat? Who? The mustard. No. Oh, the, uh, the mustard. That's a y- good one. Your best mate's wife? Sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, I was thinking your lunch. I was thinking your lunch. <laughs> Plenty of people would, though, okay. wouldn't they? Oh, my God. Famous you guy. should never put anybody on a table. Um, um, what do you put on the table, cut and then pass around, but would never eat? <laughs> and not your mate's wife. Cut and pa- or pass around. Cut? Is it like a game? Is it like the game Operation? Oh, a pack of cards. Pack of cards. Yeah. 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 Oh, that was a bit of a team effort there. You triggered me with the game. Okay, game. gotcha, yeah. yeah. Here we go for the third yeah. riddle of the morning. Kate has two. Two from two. Could it be a hat trick? A donkey was tied to a three metre long rope. <laughs> Richard Wilkins. <laughs> Tom Ivy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kate. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with Tom Ivy. Ah, what a Nothing pity. to do with Dickie the Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? It's got to be in the system somewhere. He hates this sound. This sound bite. Hates it. Go what is it. he? What's he talking oh, no, about? Just will find it. A donkey was tied to a three metre long rope. How did it manage to eat a pile of hay? That was five metres away without biting through the rope. The rope was tied. guys. It's Richard Wilkins, aka Diggy the Donkey. <laughs> Say it again. Did he say that? G'day, guys. It's Richard Wilkins, a.k.a. Diggy the Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> the tripod has spoken. He hates it. Um, Matt DeGroote, you were spot on. The other end of the rope's not, not tied, tied to anything. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Getting riddled with it. Getting riddled with it. Mandy in Mascot. Hey, Mandy. Morning. Morning. Before I do my riddle, can I ask you next year, can I ask you to email me? the uh, invites to the Christmas party because it seems to have got lost in the purse. Oh, Mandy. I have my frock and everything ready. What? Huh? If, if we... <laughs> I have my, I have my frock. frock and everything ready. Oh, yeah. If we have one in Sorry. Vegas... Or planning for you. We're thinking about taking the team to Vegas one year, Mandy. Will you be our tour guide? I'm in. I'm oh, in. Bang. She's in. Didn't have to ask twice. Richard Wilkins <laughs> is in too. Mandy, what's your riddle? I am hollow. I die if you touch me. What am I? I'm hollow and I die if you touch me. Mm-hmm. Is, it a, is it a car park, Mandy? <laughs> no. Is it Tom's heart? Soul. You die oh, if you touch, touch me. me. I'm hollow. Um, you hollow. die if you touch me. Oh, is, that so, is it something hot or Mandy? Is it something hot or... No, it's not hot. Okay. Is it a mushroom? No, it's not a mushroom. A death cat mushroom. Topical. Know. Is it is it dye death or dye food colouring dye sort Interesting of? twist. No, Matt, no, no. no. Is it electrical? That's a question. Oh. No, it's not electrical. <sighs> Perhaps a bubble. Oh, oh Tom, 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 T
bubble. Yeah, pop a bubble. Yeah, pop a bubble. Touch yeah. a bubble. Pop well, you don't say yeah. a bubble dies, though, do you? Well, well, must, does. must end I somehow. thought she yeah. said, I, you die if you touch me. Yeah. Mm, the bubble she does. Did. You don't, see, you don't die if you pop a bubble. Bubble. No, I said if you're the bubble and I touch you, yeah, you you're die. Dead. You're, uh, you've never cared more about Riddle Time in your life and now you're picking apart poor Mandy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, Mandy, you'll be at next year's Christmas party. Prize is in the post, Mandy. Prize in the post. Love you, bye. Bye, bye. Mandy. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.